Welcome back. The Dakota Medical Foundation has launched a 19-day Helping Hearts campaign to help our local charities through this very challenging time. All these charities do just incredible, incredible work. And obviously, we'd very much appreciate your support right now. So with us now to talk about this great campaign and how you can help, we've got the one and only Pat Trainer, Executive Director of the Dakota Medical Foundation. Pat, thanks for the time. Thanks for what you guys are doing. And please uh, tell our audience about what you're up to and how we can help. Hey, it's great to be with you this morning. Hopefully... I'm not, or am I echoing? A little bit, we got you. Okay, super. Hey, uh, we're so excited and grateful for your help and the help of all uh, the folks that are getting the word out about the urgent needs of these frontline charities that are doing fabulous work building health and quality of life across the region. You know, uh, the, they need masks, they need non-perishable goods. Uh, they've had to cancel uh, all the fundraising events, you know, because we can't meet face to face. Uh, some are, you know, many are working from home. Some have had to lay off folks. So this 19 campaign is about what makes our region the most generous place on the planet. And so we, we converted that website, uh, the Giving Hearts Day website to dmfhelpinghearts.org. And there's 500 charities that need our help now more than ever before and in particular you know uh chris we've got this increased demand for food for you know folks with special needs uh with me mental health issues you know we have first link with a uh you know the hotline that that hotline has been just dramatically uh ringing off the hook with people that need help so let's do what we do best chris as north dakotans and minnesotans and let's help our neighbors and dmfhelpinghearts.org is the place to find one of these charities to support and you guys are doing amazing amazing work i think pat for a lot of us right now this is obviously so new that it can feel overwhelming at times so if you were to say hey chris here's what we can do if there's one thing that we can do right now to make the biggest impact what would you encourage us to do you know what I would do is I'd consider if you're financially capable picking one of those charities listed on dmfhelpinghearts.org and helping them out because they're doing uh, great work and they're stressed and they, uh, from a financial perspective, need your help. Uh, I would say that, but there's many of us that, that might not be in that position. So you can also figure out which food pantries might need an extra uh, a non-perishable item if possible and then the third thing i would say chris i'd say hey tell your neighbors tell your friends uh let's make sure we're all working together to stay safe and to provide hope that we will all get through this so i really think the message of hope is bigger uh now uh and more important than ever before pat i got 30 seconds left my friend i'm going to give you the last word what else would you like to share sir well, I can't do anything in 30 seconds, Chris, but uh, what, I, what I would tell you is that um, I, I just think these charities uh, need us now more than ever before. Um, I, I'd encourage people to drop off uh, some goods. I would encourage people to also be very attuned to people's anxiousness, anxiety, and to reach out to your friends and neighbors and help one of these charities that's helping us build the greatest quality of life in the country. And now we need your help. Pat, you did it, my friend. You did it in less than 30 seconds. So congratulations, dmfhelpinghearts.org. Great, great website. And Pat, thanks for your time and uh, what you're doing. Thank you, Chris. All right, stick around. We got much more coming up right after this.